We previously proved that any quotient group of a group G is a homomorphic image of G, which means we're getting very close to proving the fundamental homomorphism theorem, which is the converse of this statement, that every homomorphic image of a group is in fact a quotient group. Now, in order to prove the fundamental homomorphism theorem, we're going to need one more result, and that's what we're proving today. If F is a homomorphism from a group G to a group H with kernel K, then F of A is equal to F of B if and only if the cosets KA and KB are equal. And I'll leave links in the description to relevant videos concerning the results I just mentioned, as well as introducing kernels and anything else you might need to review. What this result really says is that the images of two elements of a group under a homomorphism will be the same if and only if those two elements are in the same coset of the kernel of that homomorphism. The proof is really easy, and here it is. We'll begin by assuming that f of a equals f of b. Using this knowledge, we want to prove that the coset ka equals the coset kb. So coming back to this equation, we can multiply both sides on the right by the inverse of f of b. Remember that h is a group and f of b is in h, so it certainly has an inverse. And when we multiply on the right by f of b inverse, of course, those things just cancel out and we're left with the identity on the right. On the left side, we have f of a times f of b inverse. We've previously proven, though, that homomorphisms map inverses to inverses. So the inverse of f of b must be the image of f of b inverse. That's just a property of homomorphisms. Link in the description to the lesson where we prove that. So we have that f of a times f of b inverse equals e, but because f is a homomorphism, that's the same as saying that f of a b inverse equals e. So we see that a b inverse gets mapped by f to the identity. By definition of kernel, that means that AB inverse is an element of the kernel of the homomorphism. So AB inverse is an element of K. But we previously proved this property of cosets that a coset KA will equal a coset KB if and only if AB inverse is an element of K. So we can conclude that KA equals KB as desired. Link in the description to the lesson where we prove that property. And this actually completes the proof because all the steps we made here are reversible. If we had assumed that KA equals KB, well, like I said, we previously proved that's the case if and only if AB inverse is an element of K, which would then mean by definition that F of AB inverse equals the identity, since K is the kernel. Then, since F is a homomorphism, that would mean that F of A times F of B inverse equals the identity, but homomorphisms map inverses to inverses, so that would mean that F of A times F of B inverse equals the identity, and then multiplying both sides on the right by f of b would get us to the desired result that f of a equals f of b. So indeed, f of a equals f of b, if and only if ka equals kb. Here is a diagram that helps illustrate this result. Here's our group G, and the cosets of the kernel of our homomorphism, of course, partition the group G into these different cosets. There's the coset KE, which is just the kernel K, and of course contains the identity. We've previously proven that homomorphisms map the identity to the identity, which is why we have that. And we just proved if you take any two elements from the same coset, a and B here are from the same coset, they will have the same image under the homomorphism, and the converse is true as well. More generally, what we can see here is that F is actually putting the cosets of the kernel into a one-to-one -one correspondence with the group H. And you can probably imagine that's going to come in handy when we prove the fundamental homomorphism theorem. That's what we'll do next time. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you find these abstract algebra lessons helpful, please consider supporting Wrath of Math on Patreon. Link in the description. It's a huge help. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna
I'm a secular and aesthetic from the whole effigy. I 